Hi, and welcome to Pro Streaming Networks. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use um, a cue sheet generator called Music Cue Sheet Generator. Imagine that. Okay, so we've got syndicated programming and we're streaming to Live 365 or we're a terrestrial station and we're paying our own uh, sound exchange bills. Then we have to send metadata that can be collected to provide uh, to sound exchange or in the live 365 instance they're collecting the metadata you're sending and they're doing all that filing for you so we're going to use a program from MG at Kelly so our mixed artist is going to be MG Kelly and then we're going back to the 70s As our program title our mix title okay now I've already done um, segment one so we're going to be doing segment two okay of this nationally syndicated program so I've already copied gone to the playlist and I've copied what they have but you notice they don't put any cue timings in there so we're just gonna we're just gonna um, control V that right in uh, this is our uh, national break and what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that with we will be right back now I'm going to emphasize unless you have a whole bunch of very long talk segments I wouldn't worry about them okay all we're worried about is sending the um, metadata to live 365 or collecting it for sound exchange purposes all right so this is not you, you don't have to be exact on this now if you've got some long talk um, spots you might just put them in there somewhere just so that put your station name uh, space dash space and then put talk break okay and you can mark it and you set a cue point for it but in our case we really don't care about the talk segments we're just trying to get the metadata so what we have to do is we have to load a track and here I've got it um, back to the 70s I've already see I've already done hour one I've got my cue sheet so I'm gonna do our, our segment one so I'm gonna do hour one segment two and it's going to automatically start when it comes up and all you're going to do is listen for the change in the first song to the second song and then all you have to do is set the cue point so right now I'm just trying to get through here get through Steeler's wheel so Right now, all I'm doing is fast forwarding a little bit to find my to find my talk spot. Look here, set the cue point back to the 70s. Here's the next song. Now we got Neil Sedaka. So I can fast forward a couple of minutes there. Then I'll start doing fast forward five seconds. Thanks to we go and set cue point and now California. we're going to the next now with the Rolling Stones with miss you should be the last song we're just trying to get to this next cue point, which is the commercials. We set the cue point. All right. So now I'm going to go up here. All my timings and everything are already in there. You see how easy that was? Come on, Mike. I, I, I could have a three-year-old grandson or granddaughter that can do it. Okay. That's how easy it is. Now I'm going to say, save cue sheet. See, pops up, says it's saved, and it saves it to the exact same folder as what the 
the MP3 file is, and it names it the same name as the MP3 file. How about that? So now you keep that all together in a folder, and when you play that, that syndicated programming, guess what? It's going to send that metadata, and you're going to be in full uh, licensing compliance. All right, guys. Uh, catch you next time. See ya.